Hello friends, in this lecture we are going to discuss demand and supply. So demand and supply, first we start with the demand. What is demand schedule? Friends, demand schedule shows the quantity demanded at various prices of the commodity. Let us see this table. In this table, here five different situations are given. For these five different combinations, this is the price, this is the quantity. So here we are showing the price, here we are showing the quantity. So, a schedule, a table which shows the quantity demanded at various prices of commodity is called a demand schedule. So, this is a demand, demand schedule. Other things remaining constant. Law of demand says that for increase in price, quantity demanded will decline. According to law of demand, if other things are assumed to be remaining same, to be constant, in that case, if there is increase in price, the quantity demanded will decrease and vice versa. Let us see this demand schedule. Combination A, price 5000, quantity demanded 9. Price decreases. 4000 quantity demanded increases price reduces further quantity demanded increases and so on so we can see it from this angle also from bottom to top price 1000 demand 20 20 price increases to 15 Demand price increases to 22,000. Demand reduces to 15. Price increases to 3,000. Quantity demanded in decreases to 12. So, according to law of demand, if other things are not changing, other things are constant, then increase in price leads to decline in quantity demanded and vice versa. Now, demand curve. We have just seen the demand schedule. Now, we shall see the demand curve. So, friend, this is demand curve. According to this curve, quantity and price are inversely related. We have just seen this on the previous screen. So, law of demand says, if there is increase in price, the quantity demanded shall decline. So, quantity and price are inversely related. Q demanded increases if quantity demanded in quantity demanded increases when price declines and vice versa. So, when price declines, the quantity demanded increases. And when price increases, the quantity demanded decreases. What are the reasons for this? And what is effect of this? First let us see. So let us see this curve. So this is OX axis, this is OY axis. Here we are showing quantity demanded. Here we are showing price. So original price we can assume to be P1. At P1, the quantity demanded is Q1. Thereafter, the price declines and it comes to P2. So, when price comes down, the quantity demanded increases to Q2. And this becomes a demand curve. So, when we link these points and draw a line, draw a curve, it becomes demand curve. And what does it state? 
if a quantity demanded sorry quantity demanded will increase when price declines so here price has declined and quantity demanded has increased what are the reasons for this feature the first reason is the inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded so whenever there is inverse relationship between two variables that curve will move from left to right downward only and when there is positive relationship between two variables then the movement of curve will be from left to right upward left to right upward so it is downward left to right when relationship is inverse opposite because price and quantity demanded are related in opposite direction hence this shape of curve will be there second there can be change in income whenever there is change in income again the demand will increase then substitution effect substitution effect comes into picture when there are substituted goods so price of one commodity leads to change in demand of other commodity if those goods are related goods like car and petrol if price of car increases then demand for petrol will decrease because of substitution effect market demand curve so when we add together the quantity demanded by individual consumers it becomes market demand curve so the demand curve can be for individuals also demand curve can be for market as a whole also when individual quantities demanded are aggregated then it becomes market demand curve now forces behind demand curve first average income of consumers if income increases the consumer tends to buy more so what are the forces which affect the demand curve shape first one is average income of the consumer so whenever there is increase in income of consumers they are likely to buy more second size of market based on population so if size of population is more at one particular place then it will affect the demand at that particular place for example delhi must be purchasing more cars than lucknow because population of delhi is much more than population of lucknow hence size of market also affects the demand curve in one particular market then price and availability of related goods so related goods can be substituted goods like tea and coffee and these can be complementary goods like car and petrol car cannot be used without petrol and petrol can be used say only for use of car so when price of one of these changes availability of one of these changes then it has effect on the other what is meant by shift in demand shift in demand friends law of demand says if other things remain same and price increases the quantity demanded shall decrease now increase in quantity demanded can be due to other factors also factors other than price of that particular commodity and these factors can be change in income if there is an increase in income of the consumers the demand of that commodity will increase although there is no change in price or change in price of related commodities 
so this type of situation is called shift in demand so whenever there is change in demand not because of price of that commodity but for other factors and those other factors can be change in income change in price of related commodities etc and this is the curve relating to that so here we are showing quantity demanded here we are showing price and here we have original demand this is original demand curve so increase in demand for cars due to increase in income so if there is increase in income then there will be increase in demand for cars so this is increase in demand similarly there can be decrease in demand so here price remains the same so this is price price remains the same this is original demand so this is change in demand here demand is increasing and here demand is decreasing means this is a shift in demand so shift in demand is caused not by price of that commodity but it is caused by other factors now we shall study the supply part but that we shall do in the next lecture thank you